What's going on everybody? This is BB Coach Superman and this is my first tech review in three years, man. Oh my goodness, it's been a long time. Uh, I have not not reviewed tech. I've just done it on Facebook and other places. I never YouTubed it. So I've had like a dozen smartphones. I've had four or five tablets. I've had uh, smart bands. I've had four or five smart watches. My goodness, I had a lot of stuff. I'd send emails back to companies uh, telling them what I think because I got a couple of them for a really big discount. I actually got this guy. If anybody knows what this is, um, this is the, the Martian smartwatch. It's, a really, it's really awesome. None of these exist right now. It's something completely different. They're still Martian smartwatches. They just look a million times better. Uh, I got this thing for like 60% off. Uh, they gave it to me to look at and I've, I kept it because I, I loved it. Anyway, I'm going to be getting some smartwatches uh, in later videos. But today, today man, let's, let's talk about this guy right here. I was not going to buy the 6P. I loved my Nexus 6. I love it. I still love it. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and take all the fingerprints off the screen. This is my Nexus 6. And I absolutely love it. This is my second Nexus 6. And I will tell you why. You know what? Scratch that. It's my third Nexus 6. And I will I'll tell you why it's my third. So this guy's the blue one. I prefer the white one, but I couldn't find this uh, it's spur of the moment brand new in white. I can only find it in blue brand new. So what happened was I had this guy. So in this box, right, her is my white Nexus 6. Prefer the white. So nice. I had this for a year, right? Because I bought this right when it came out. Screen was super yellow. Like screen was awful. So Google sent me another white one. Right away, they like overnighted that, that thing. It was awesome. So I had this for a year and then I ordered the Nexus 6P. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. Because if everyone is saying how great it is and how it's, it's gonna be so awesome, let's just try it. Even if it means I'll just make a video on it, I'll just do that. All right, two days, actually about a week after I ordered it. So I still have like three weeks left to go, this happened. Just completely shattered the screen in two places. Didn't drop it, it fell out of my door. I had it in a door pocket and when I opened the door, it flipped out and shattered. So I'm like, damn it, man, I got like two, three weeks left before the new guy comes in and I'm out a freaking phone. And do I go and buy a cheapo phone that I'm gonna hate? No, I went out and I bought another Nexus 6 because I love this phone. I love it. Let me tell you why I love it and then we'll get into the Nexus 6P. Because in my second video, it's a two-part video, I'm gonna be doing a comparison between the two. So I love the Nexus 6. I love it because it's crazy fast. It's still super smooth, there's no lag. I will show you that right now. Let's go ahead and make the, the screen a little bit brighter so you guys can see. Hopefully that doesn't blow out in the camera. Oh, I think we're good. So it's crazy fast. There's no lag at all in this thing. I've got other things open. I've got all of this stuff going on in the background. We'll go ahead and we'll go into YouTube. That's my YouTube channel right there. And we'll go ahead and back out of that. We'll go into Facebook. Face Facebook, I posted some stuff after the debates last night. Go ahead and see what somebody said about that. Super fast. Had this for a while. It's been crazy fast. And this one still works. It's great. And it still worked just as fast as this guy did. That Snapdragon 805 with 3 gigs of RAM with stock Android is no joke. So, if you're in the market for a cheap phone, this one is under $300 now. It was $700 after tax for the base model when it came out. I know because I paid it. Under $300 gets you a 13 megapixel camera, camera with optical image stabilization that takes pretty good pictures, especially for Facebook and Instagram, a gorgeous 2K display, amazing front-facing speakers, wireless charging, quick charging. Oh my gosh. Awesome phone, right? So I love this phone so much, I wasn't sure if I wanted to buy this. But here we go, let's get into the unboxing. Now, I will preface this by saying I already did a live Periscope session unboxing this phone. Set up the fingerprint scanner, did all that stuff, but for you guys, I packed it all back up. I'm gonna do it all over again. All right, here we go. First of all, this is not a sleeve. I know you've maybe seen other videos before, it's not a sleeve, it's a sticker. It says Huawei, or Huawei, or Huawei, however you want to say it, on the side with Android, Nexus 6, Nexus 6P, you got a big old P right there, a whole bunch of stuff that I probably don't want people to see. Nexus, and you guys can see that I got the aluminium 
32 gigabyte because that's all I wanted. Let's go ahead and slowly take off this sticker. Move this over here. That has a big old P right there. Flip it open and it says Nexus right there on the circle. And here we go. Nexus P. Pull off the sheet. It's a cheat sheet that tells you what's in the box. You guys have seen other videos before. I don't need to go over that. Put that right there. And there it is. Face up with the gorgeous sleeve on it with this nice, like, Nightwing cool looking blue. USB Type C charger, which is awesome and yet really stupid because this is the only one I got in the house. And I know none of the people that I'm going to go visit has this. So I'm going to be carrying this around until I can get another one. And none of my car chargers work, which is really stupid. Anyway, go ahead and take this guy out. And I will say, picking this up for the first time, the coldness of the metal, because it shipped and I, I opened it, you know, right? So it's right here, here's the box. So opening it up after it ships, you feel the cold metal. And it just feels so premium. Everybody's like, like some people are like, I don't like the iPhone because it's cold. It's a piece of tech. It's a cool looking piece of tech. It's not supposed to feel like a warm hug. It's supposed to feel like something from the future. And that's what this feels like. It feels great. Let's go ahead and slide this out. And already, man, already I love, I love the metal around it. It's very iPhone. I'm not going to say it's not very iPhone, but I love it. I absolutely love that you can see the metal poking out through the sides because this was a big black slab. And let's go right here, right now. We'll do a little comparison test. For one, it's thinner. Two, it's narrower. And three, it is noticeably lighter. So this guy is crazy light and thin. Look at this. You guys see a camera hump? I don't see a camera hump. I don't see it. I, I don't know where it is. I don't know what everybody was bitching about. It is a flat window, semi-flat. There's a little bit there. There's a little bit. But it's nothing to cry about. And there's the back. Boom. Already got a name for her. This is Captain Phasma. You guys can laugh all you want, but I think it's genius. So this is Captain Phasma right here. Got the nice window for the camera. And this feels so nice. So nice. Let's go ahead and let's take the white to white and we'll just show you. Look at that. It's much thinner because this thing's all rounded and stuff. So in hand, it feels great. It feels much smaller than it is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and it feels, it feels like a really tall Note 5. That's all it feels like because it is, it is actually a little bit taller than the, uh, than the Galaxy S6 by a little bit. Let's go ahead and turn this sucker on. We're at eight minutes, people. We're going to be done a little sooner and then later. So I'm going to turn this on. I'll show you guys the fingerprint sensor. Here's the, uh, here's the boot up. Google logo. It'll probably vibrate soon. There you go. It's going in with this little, little squiggly circle thing. So like I said, I only got the 32 gigabyte, mainly because it's all I need. I only had a 32 on the Nexus 6 and it was fine. So to start Android, you have to draw the pattern. It doesn't start unless you draw the pattern once you set up your fingerprint and done everything else. When you set up your fingerprint, you can actually set it up so that it'll show you specific notifications. So even when uh, the screen turns on, right, so you get that blinking notification that you got on the last Nexus, you can actually set it for security purposes to show you specific things. So if you don't want your emails showing, you don't have to have your emails pulsating, which is really cool, right? So there you go, there's the screen, it's big, it's beautiful. And now here, I'm just gonna show you, because I set up my finger already. Um, I'm going to just do this. So you see where it is? It's on the back right here. Any way that you place it, it takes like six pictures of your finger. And I'm going to do it again with my other hand. But here we go. One. Let me find it first. One. Two. Unlock. So fast. Let me try that again. Here you go. Ready? One. Two. I'm going to do this way so you guys, you guys can see it. One. Two. Three. So fast. All right, so let's set up. Let's go into security. 
and we shall set up the other fingerprint. Add fingerprint. So here we go, here it is. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's go ahead and let's lower the uh, screen. Maybe you guys can see that a little bit better. There you go. So you find out where it is and they tell you to just put your finger in a different spot. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Let's get a weird one for six. Six. There you go. So now it's done. It's added. It's good to go. Hit done for that. Get out of here. We'll close it. And now here we go. So phone's sitting down. Let me check. Pick the phone up. Boom. We're in. That quickly. That quickly. Let's go in one more time, then we'll be done with the video. Pick this guy up. It's really easy to find that home button, too. It's really easy. So anyway, that is the Nexus 6P unboxing overall impressions. It feels crazy premium. It feels really light. These edges feel a little sharp. They're not like rounded like the Nexus 6 was, but it, they feel good. They feel really good. It's like a less slippery iPhone 6 Plus. That's how I would describe it. Anyway, that's been the video. That's part one. Part two is coming up right now. So if it's not uploading yet, give me a little bit. My computer's slow. Actually, it's my wife's computer. I'm getting a new computer uh, on Black Friday. I may be getting two and comparing them. I'll give you a hint. It might be the Surface Book and the uh, MacBook and we're gonna compare them and see what's going on. The MacBook Pro. I'm not gonna get the MacBook because I don't wanna waste my money. I'd rather have someone punch me in the face than throw out $1,000 like that thing is. Anyway, let's do the fingerprint scanner one more time. Oh, one, two, boom. Done. See you guys in the next video.